you're back. I'm Mandy, and this is Buzz Chomp, home of fitness and entertainment. It's all about my fit mom journey, and these are three easy fitness changes to ensure your success, especially now that the holidays are coming up, guys. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz, Buzz Chomp. Chomp. Woo! We're on our fit mom journey. Okay, guys. Okay, the holidays are coming up. I don't want to say that they're coming up either, but they're coming up and there's nothing we can do about them. This is a time that I see a ton of people stop their fitness journey. Then they start back up again and at the new year and they're like upset that they've taken like three steps backwards. So here are some fitness tips, three of them to be exact, that will help you, help you to your fitness success, especially around the holidays. So you're not just constantly going that cycle. Start an at-home fitness practice. It's what you got to do, guys. It's what you have to do. Especially like if you're going to a cold weather climate for the holidays, if you live in a cold weather climate, it's like, I don't live in a cold weather climate, but I visit cold weather climates during the holidays and sometimes I just can't bring myself to run outside. I've been in the mindset of running unless it's raining or snowing on the East Coast when I go for Christmas and stuff. But having an at-home workout practice is amazing. Dan reviews tons of fitness circuits. We've reviewed 30-day challenges. I've shown you how to do easy circuits at home. The internet is your free, yes, free, free, free service. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a gym. Most of the time you don't even need any equipment either except a mat and yourself. So do it guys, do it. That's a great, great way. Especially if you like to work out early in the morning or if you like to work out after your kids go to bed or even if you're trying to get back into it. Starting at home is the easiest way. No one is watching you. No one cares what you do. You can do whatever you want. You can put a YouTube video on your TV and follow along and it's perfect. Perfect guys, perfect. Push yourself to start a new goal from now to the end of the year. This is perfect because if you are goal oriented in fitness, if you're always like, okay, I wanna reach here, I wanna reach here, I wanna do this. Like, I'll give you my own. December is always, 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 always a very tough month for running for me. I don't run as much, it's always my least run miles. This year though, I do not want that dramatic drop off. Like if I run like an awesome running month for me is 115 miles to 130 miles. That's like a, ooh, I love those months. Those are what I strive for. December is like 90 or sometimes like 85 for me. That's a goal of mine. I don't want to see that dramatic, dramatic drop off. I want to do that. So for me, that's keeping up right now. It's keeping going in October. It's keeping going in November and it's really hitting the pavement strong in the beginning of December, especially that first half of the month when I'm in Los Angeles. So whatever you want, just make a new goal. If it's trying out a new fitness class, if it's switching something up at the gym, if it's running five miles a day, if like whatever it is, go out and make a fitness goal from now to the end of the year. And honestly, make it something that you know that you're gonna be able to do as long as you just keep yourself accountable. Three, work out five minutes a day longer. This one is perfect because I think we all have five minutes. If you've already committed yourself to working out, working out five minutes longer is not a big deal. If you go to the gym and you have things that you do, if you say, if you run on the treadmill, or you do the Stairmaster, if you do the elliptical, just do five minutes more. That's it. Just do five minutes more. If you go to a workout class and you're like, oh, I'm going to do five minutes more, come home and do a quick and easy circuit. Do it either like after your workout, do it before. If you don't work out till later in the evening, do it in the morning, do it before you go to bed or vice versa. Just doing something like that. I love that. I think a great way of doing that is doing 30 day challenges like that I do here. Or also just like for me, it's adding in this lifting circuit I have, adding in pull-ups that I've been talking about, doing things like that, just like adding. So I come back from my run and not skipping the extra stuff that I do, making sure that I do that extra five minute workout. That's gonna be perfect. That's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna see awesome results. It's also gonna help me get my number two because 
I'm pushing myself, guys. I'm pushing myself. I don't want to drop off this holiday season. I don't. I don't want to come back in January and be like, oh man, I did all this work last year, but I let the holidays get to me. These are three fitness tips to get you that success, especially this time of year. So you end 2018 on a fitness high note. Woo! I'm Mandy. Subscribe to Buzzchomp for more of my fit mom journey and comment below. Share with me a goal that you want to reach by the end of the year and I will cheer you on. Yeah, kids. Yeah. We're on our fit mom journey. Thanks for watching Buzzchomp. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share. Woo.